Good job! Yay! I'm Cheyenne. I've been on MTV's Are You The One and The Challenge. I met Corey while filming the show. Cheyenne, boy, does she look like Rihanna, and that's my dream girl. That's love at first sight. And months later, at the reunion, we hooked up. I had a boyfriend at the time, so when I found out I was pregnant, I wasn't sure who the father was. It wasn't until Ryder was six months old that we got the DNA test and found out that Corey was the father. Now we're co-parenting Ryder, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> I love you. Mm. I recently started dating Zach, a family friend. He got me Simon on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I was trying to think of when did Simon Simon's, Simon's the there. there. And he just moved in with me and my sister. Okay. You know, when Shy told me we're having a baby, okay. You millennials are doing everything backwards. <laughs> you mean having babies before getting but married? You know, what, you know what the funny part here we are. We, we have enough family and friends to oh, you love this baby. We have enough uh, having a partner is wonderful, whether you're married or together. You know, I love Zach to death. I think Zach has been the best friend that you could have. Yeah. Zach, my concern is that how are you going to handle being a blended family? With who? Uh, uh, her father. Oh, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's already there. I mean, I'm not going for the father position. Like, I'm not. You know, going for the title as dad. I just want to be there. You know, right. support. But 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 Zach, if you're the main person in the house, you you do play a parental role, and you are. Uh... And that I mean, that's something as Ryder gets older. You know that we also gotta communicate with her. Right. I am very excited about Corey's participation, participation with with the baby. That to me is rare in. I know rare. in our generation, like, I don't really see anybody else doing it. And us doing the show, I'm excited to be able to show... Ouch! Ooh, right, left hook. Right, 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 right. How I get beat up on the daily. Hey! I just got this... I just got this hair. <laughs> don't take it out already. Showing a blended family in a positive way. Right. And I do think that it helps that we never dated. I think that plays a role because it was never anything bad between us. Absolutely. How's everything going, Lord? Ryder's getting bigger. Everything with me and Cheyenne's going good. When you found out, how crazy was that, bro? I'm not kidding you, bro. The first time I saw Ryder, I look at Ryder, she looks at me, bro, and she just smiles, and I look at her and I smile, and I'm like, okay, yeah. there it is. I'm yeah. like, you little <laughs> We're about to be together for a long time. like. And we had the, the test done. Sure enough, I get the email, 99.9%. Damn. I started crying out of happiness, bro. You know what I mean? Pure I didn't joy. shed one tear of being upset. You know what yeah. I mean? Everyone wants to paint that perfect picture. Everyone can sit back and judge somebody on, no, you should have a kid when you're married. It never works out like that, you know? I think the biggest thing is, is you just got to deal with what life throws at you. Yeah. Yeah, so what was the breakdown? Like, how did you and Cheyenne start talking? Because it didn't seem so like those So we started talking really... with the challenge. We okay. did Rivals 3 together on the show. We had a little showmance. And it really didn't go anywhere. We were like, you know what? We're just better off as friends, you know? Reunion time comes around. Yeah. <laughs> In a hotel, like, hey. Drinking. Yeah. <laughs> drinking. Yeah. 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 We're drinking. We're about to go yeah. out. That's where Ryder K comes into play. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Have okay. you and Cheyenne talked about maybe getting back together? You know, we never crossed that line to begin with. Okay. We were at that flirt in, okay, let's talk a little bit. Homies. Yeah, you Homies. know, we were cool. Yeah. We were cool just forced. enjoying each other's company. So, yeah, I mean, I just think the biggest thing with me and Cheyenne is that Ryder needs to come first. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, as long as that happens, I feel like me and her can make this thing work. I know she's got a boyfriend and whatnot. Yeah. But yeah, at that? the end How's of the day, that? it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> you say that now. It's cool. I mean, I hate the fact that he lives with her. My biggest thing is the whole Zach living with you. There's a couple reasons why I hate that Zach lives with you. One, it's personal pride. He obviously is seeing Ryder more than I'm seeing her just because Ryder's with you four days, she's with me three days. You know, and he's sleeping at your house. So for me, it's hard it. to accept that, you know, because put yourself in my I position. Get it. I you respect would snap. it. I totally understand what you're saying, and I respect what you're saying, and I understand it. She is gonna know who I'm her dad is at the stuff. end of the day. Yeah, and that's that's a line that he will not cross with you exactly. is the whole I'm, dad thing. He knows I'm, you're the dad. Right. But like, why just? I thought he was looking for his own place. So when did this whole "I'm just gonna stay here" thing happen? He is looking for a place. Why don't you just be single? Oh, sorry. That was, I was, 
I just had a thought. I don't know. It just came over me. I don't think he's going anywhere if that's your question. I don't. I feel like... But, Cheyenne, you've also called me and talked to me about what's going well, on between you my... two. And that's and your I business. You know what that. I'm saying? What do you mean, stop doing that? If who I do you Who do you call crying? And who's there to talk to you? Me. And who's always there to be like, I got you. I want what's but best I don't for need you. Me, I don't need me calling you crying to be thrown back in my face like it is right now. OK. Fair enough. We're still at the point where when I'm around Zach, it's a little weird because I know in the back of his head he thinks me and you are hooking up. Everyone thinks that we hook up. How'd her gym class go? What'd they have her doing? She like ran around and did what she wanted. And how would it make you feel if I was there, if I were to come? It wasn't a like, I don't want you to come with us. It was just more so of like, I just didn't know like how it would all work out. Between what, like me, Corey being there together or what? No, well that, and just like, you know, it's like when you come, like, do you want to come on the floor? Do you want to sit and watch the class? Like, like what role, like, do you want to play? On my end, like, it's like, if I want to be there, I'm there for support. I don't need to be interacting with you guys during the class. Like. I mean, of course the situation is awkward for me. Like, I'd be lying if I said, oh, no, it's not awkward. Yeah, no, he just needs to understand, like, I'm not here to take his role, or I'm not trying right. to, Right. You no. Know, You're not sitting like, here telling Ryder to call you dad. Yeah, like, no, it's, no. It's, I have the utmost respect for, you know, him being the father to Ryder, so I'm not here to do anything, to tear that apart or do anything. I'm trying to keep both you and Corey at, like, on the same page about things, but us being in a relationship, I have to make sure, like, you feel, like, secure within our relationship to understand that when Corey are doing things with Ryder or for Ryder, that's what it is. Yeah, I've had my insecurities as any normal person would, but it's like, if I care about you and want to be with you, I'm gonna make it work. Boom. Boom. I really admire the way that you guys have handled the whole co-parenting thing. You know, me and Zach, we're kind of going through the same thing right now where, you know, Zach is currently with Cheyenne. And mm -hmm. so he's with Ryder a lot. And I'm on the other side where I'm by myself and I'm doing my thing. But I'm coming to you guys to kind of get those hints, those, those you know, on how to make the co-parenting thing work. I'm going to be going through things with Cheyenne where I'm going to have to lean on you. I'm going to have to lean on you because you guys understand her okay. on hey, a different level. Hey, hey, what's going on? Now I got, and then of course, <laughs> coming out here in a towel and a head wrap. Okay, just come on. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about it. We Don't worry about it. this. You want to be included? Come on. Yeah. Like I never had a dad. My dad did eight years. So like I wasn't cool with my stepdad like that. It was never a father-son relationship. You know, he so never really parented me, me on this. like what to do, what not okay. to do. Okay, he I got never you. taught me. He never coached me up. Right. Okay. You know, and it comes down oh, to really man. respecting boundaries as well, man. The boundaries that that are laid out. You know, basically, you being a dad. You've done a good job. You, you have so done far. a good job. Yeah, I respect his boundaries, man. That's their that's their father. That's their father. He was there from the beginning. Dave made it very easy. And I, and I love this brother, okay? I mean, oh, yeah. you know, truly. Absolutely. You know, in terms of you and Zach, right. I don't mean this in disrespect. Zach is a boyfriend. You're a father. Right. Your responsibility is way up here. Yeah. Your and responsibility I think me and him can is both down agree here. On that. Yeah. Don't ever feel intimidated by him being a boyfriend, because he's not a father. You're a father. Shai knows you, you're a father. You stepped up. Right. Yeah. We all know that. Her family knows that. Dave, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Her mother knows that. You know, if you guys could work it out, yeah. you'd have support to work it out. There's no disrespect to Zach we know. or anybody else. Yeah, no. Well, you stepped up. You know? You so, welcome. No, yeah. yeah. You're welcome. No. So, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you're you. welcome. You, you stepped up. I swear, a little bit of me, I have to put that pride aside because, you know, Zach lives with Cheyenne. I don't want to feel like Zach is seeing Ryder more than me. I don't want that. My family and I are going to a street fair together, but Zach has plans, and he's annoyed that I invited Corey, so things have been tense with us all morning. Hi, yes. Hello, Mama. Hello. Oh, there she is. What's going on? Hi, honey. What is this? Oh. She looks like she's doing yoga or something. Hello? Hello? What's up? What's up? Hi, Riley. Did you miss me? I know it's only been two days. We missed you, Mochi. So you coming? Nah, I'm no. going with my pops, Dave. So you leaving me with all the ladies. Mm. <laughs> mm. You got it. Yeah, I think I'll handle it. All right, are we leaving? So 
I'm Zach Byrne. I'm glad that we, you know, we got to spend the day together. Isn't Zach, this happy fun? family. Uh -oh. No, but... <laughs> oh, smoochie. Cheyenne never invites Zach to anything, does she? Oh, shut oh. up. She doesn't invite Zach to anything. Yes, I do. Here, here, take care. Here. 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 I invited oh. Zach to come today. He had to do the thing with his dad, which I encourage. I want him to have a good relationship with his dad, so I said to go with your dad. He thinks that I was trying to push him away because me and you were together, but that wasn't the situation. One of the hardest things about co-parenting is when you bring other people into it. I want to get to the point where it's not weird between me and Zach, but at the same time, it's not really my concern. I got that. Like, I don't know how much longer I can take being beat down for having a good co-parenting relationship, so. Corey's in Michigan for the week and he asked if I could fly Ryder out to spend some time with his family. I agreed, but when I told Zach, he didn't want me to go unless he came too. So I don't know what to do. Zach's mad I'm going to Michigan. Yeah. Jeez, you're in this, it's a similar situation, so you could speak on a little bit more from the male perspective. Yeah, you co-parent, how, what do you think? I mean, I feel like he should be comfortable with you being around your daughter's father, like, I can't come in between it. I feel like I'd be out of line. Now, what if she said, hey, I'm gonna go meet my baby daddy in his hometown, I'm gonna take the baby out there to visit his family. Is that, then what? I wouldn't wanna go, but I wouldn't want you staying at his house. I guess true, I get that. As long as you had a hotel. But I wouldn't wanna go myself, that's weird. I honestly feel like if Zach came in it like that and said, look, I don't need to go to Michigan, you got it, but you need to get a hotel, then that's like, to me, that's at least like some type of meeting in the middle. And Zach felt like in the ranking system, it went Ryder, Corey, and then him. And he feels like he should always come above Corey. He feels like there's certain things that we do together that we could really do separate, but we still choose to do them together for whatever reason. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Because Ryder has two parents. You know, Cora and I are still figuring it out and we're in the beginning stages. I just don't see anybody ever understanding our dynamic. My focus right now is solely on Ryder and within focusing on Ryder, it's making sure that she builds a good relationship with Corey. I get why Zach doesn't want me to take Ryder to Michigan, but I need him to understand this is for Ryder, not Corey. I don't know. I feel like we're still not on the same page with each other. No, not at all. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush, let's be real. I honestly put it like this. I feel like Corey is more of a priority than me. I just feel like, you know, the way you treat him versus you treat me is if it's not the same, there's no comparison. It's almost like you're more so in a relationship with him. If the shoe was on the other foot, had it been me and I had a baby's mother and I was had to go out there, I, you know, she asked me to go out there and spend time, you would not be okay with that. That's not true at all. You would not. Why well, I feel like I'm being put second. In every case, I feel like I would never, ever put you second to another woman. Why are we ranking it? Rank it or not. It I'm not, it okay, it's not call a it a rank. System. Listen, it should never it, be ranked. Like, it's not a Call it a rank it or not, I would never come second thing. to no man with my right. woman. right, and that's why we're not on the same page. Exactly. That's why we don't see eye to eye. Would you come second? to any woman behind me? If you had a child, you would come second to I her would at all. Her. If we got yes, married, yes. you would come second. You have a baby with her. I would aspect, support you being a great father to But we're gonna have a child. We're gonna have a child. Then we, we cross get... that bridge when we get there. Right now, yes, that's my focus, is ensuring that I have a good co-parenting relationship with Corey, that Ryder has a good this. relationship with her dad and his family. That's There's it. There's nothing wrong with There's that. That's my There's focus. So if my relationships, that, if my friendships, is, if my Shy, personal look. relationships suffer because of that, that's, I will take that right now. I have to do what's best for Ryder. Then that's, that, that's, that's all that needed to come out. Because at the end of the day, I thought you would rather sacrifice some rather than go for suffering it for me. Because I would sacrifice everything for you. Like you said, we don't see eye to eye. We man. don't see eye to eye. We're not on the same page. So that's fine. 
I, I don't have to say no more. I mean, you made it crystal clear. And we really not doing this no more. <laughs> What's she laughing at? What's going on up there? Who are you talking to, Shy? Nobody. Whoever it is, you look pretty happy. Who is it? I'm not telling you. Mind Why? your business. You are my business. <laughs> no, it's nobody. So who was it? Zach. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, it looks it's like a family meeting now. <laughs> oh, Lord. OK. Did you hear that? Has it been a week? Is this like a month? It's been like a few months. A few, a few months? months, really? Like quarantine time. What's going oh, on? yes, perfect timing. Hello, Nate. <laughs> Hi, Beautiful <laughs> timing. Let's get it going. Okay, we'll finish this conversation later. Corey and I have been maintaining our co parenting schedule during COVID to make sure Ryder doesn't miss out on time with either of us. Hi, Smooch. Let's see your mask. We could take these off now. Oh, fancy. Have you been tested? Yes, have I have. Have you been tested, brother. Shy? I like that jacket. Oh. How's everything? You good? Ooh. COVID life is so much fun. I have so many plans that are being canceled as we speak. <laughs> What's going on? I still can't believe you guys had a girl. Yeah. Be a lot more quarantine babies. I'm sure there are. People are going to be booed up. Talking about booze, who's your boo? You got a new boo? I'm celibate. You're celibate. I'm just... I'm surprised. You've been single for a long time. I'm just, you know, like. enjoying my time. Yeah. As safely as I can. As many smiles as I can. <laughs> Something's going on, man. I got a taste for God. I know Corey thinks that I'm dating someone, but I don't want to tell him yet because it's none of his business. I want some space to figure out where my relationship with Zach is headed before letting him know. Corey brought Rye home, so my mom's watching her now. So have you told Corey yet? It's not really any of his business, unless it involves, like, Ryder, you know? Yeah. How do you feel about the whole co-parenting thing with Corey and I? Because I know that that last time caused us some problems. I don't think it's going to be as complicated as it was in the past. Yeah. Like, I have more understanding of what you were trying to do and what your goals were now, so. Of course, my goal would be you and Corey yeah. got along. I just think it's healthy. I agree. I guess I haven't even asked you, like, if you have any negative feelings towards Corey or if you feel like there's going to be a problem or... I don't see myself having a problem with him. I don't know. I mean, I know my intentions. Which are what? Pretty much, I mean, pick up where we left off. What are your intentions? You know, I feel like we have to almost relearn each other for who we are now. Do you want to do it this time? Or, like, are you going to commit? I feel like I'm a commitment kind of girl. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Today's ours birthday dinner, and everyone in our bubble got tested to make sure the party is safe. I'm excited because it's the first time in a while that our friends and family are getting together. Corey's supposed to have his first call from the challenge today, so hopefully he calls before the party gets started. So, Shy. Yes. Is Zach coming today? Yes. Does Corey know about Zach yet? No, 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 no. <laughs> it just hasn't come up, but no, I mean, I it's you. not like it's a secret. No, so. I, I understand. I mean, I get it. Yeah. You don't have to report. Right, <laughs> and that's the thing, like, I don't... I don't feel like I need to right, bring it up. Say anytime I go on a date and tell him, but right, right, right. now I that you. you know he is really back around, and what does that mean that he's really back around? Like he hangs out with Ryder and stuff, so yeah. that's the only reason why I would make it a conversation with Corey because he's around the baby. Right, right. Ryder, no? come here. He's calling. There's Daddy. Be careful. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. Here she goes. Hi, Daddy. Hi, bro. What are you doing? I'm on the challenge. What are you doing on the challenge? I'm trying to win. That's what I'm trying to do. But I decided to call Zach. Huh? Oh, Zach. Oh, what huh? did she say? Huh? <laughs> Zach. What? what about Zach, Ryder? Uh, what? Has, has mommy been going to Zach's house? No. No? No. 
<laughs> That's right, Ryan. Cover up for me. Good job. <laughs> Even though you snitched. So, what does she mean, Zach? What, what, what's going on? Zach and I are dating again. Dating? <laughs> I, I leave for a couple of weeks and now you're dating one of your exes? Ryder, is it a good idea? What? Dating Zach? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Zach? Yeah, Zach is nice, right? Is Zach nice to you? Ryder, Ryder, good. We just want mommy to be happy, okay? Daddy, watch me, daddy. Let me see. I'm actually okay with you talking to somebody that Ryder's already been used to being around. Oh, thank you so much. Huh? Thank you so much. Boy's been away competing on the challenge for three months, and Ryder's doing well but misses him a lot. Zach and I are happy about how things are happening for us. Corey's coming home to all kind of new surprises. Yeah. Ryder has grown, Ryder is taller, and Ryder's gonna have another sibling. I know. <laughs> he still doesn't know. I might just put that t-shirt on, Ryder. And just let him look I'm gonna and be read a big it. sister again and just see if he ever re like gets right. it. He'll be clueless. And just go from there. And if he doesn't get it, then that's his loss. He's gonna call like... you the next day, like I was changing Ryder. <laughs> or let's see if Corey says, hey man, um, now that my daughter's gonna be around you, I think we should have a man-to-man -man talk. Shut up. Was that his man voice? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I haven't even asked you, like, if you have any negative feelings towards Corey. I don't see myself having a problem with him. Ryder is excited to see her dad today. It will be nice to have Corey's help, but a lot is going to change for our blended family. I plan to tell him I'm pregnant, but more than that, he has to respect how Zach fits into everything from this point forward. He's just a little brassle. What's up, girl? Oh, oh boy. Ah, Daddy's back. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. Yeah. Come on. I can't wait for you to come over to Daddy's house. Are you excited? Yeah. Missed you. You got big. Do what? Rai, what are you about to do? Why is she looking? Yes! I'm gonna be a big sister again? Cheyenne! How was the challenge? It was good. Yeah, it, was, it felt like it was forever. It, it felt like it was forever. So I called you getting I pregnant know, while I, I was know. gone. Every time you, you were FaceTiming. Asking. I know, I'm surprised you didn't tell me. Zach's so excited. He That's awesome. I'm happy. Cries for him. about everything. He's like Good. the I'm emotional not the only one. Cry <laughs> Are you getting engaged, Zach? What's that like? That's definitely the plan. You need to slow down for his <laughs> sake. I'm telling you right now. No, it's definitely a lot going on. Let's handle this pregnancy. Let's pray for a healthy baby. Mm-hmm. Zach's in there. No, he went home. He's tired. Okay. He's over me right now. I'll talk to him next time. I knew that this was coming. I'm trying to build a relationship between me and Zach. Like, all right, man, welcome to fatherhood. About to get real. I right. know. About to have another one. I can't Yay. believe it. I feel like I talked about it for so long that now yeah. that it's like happening, I'm still kind of like, not weird, but like, is this really life? Yeah. We've had fun, right? Haven't we had fun? Yeah. Well, guess what? It's daddy time. Ready? Turn up with daddy. No. Hey, turn up with daddy. <laughs> hey, turn up with daddy. Hey, Ryder's been with Koi for the past week, and he's dropping her off today. I'm nervous since I know he wants to talk to Zach, so I hope it's not too awkward. Yo, yo. What's going on with you, man? Hi. What's up, bro? Oh, bro? Good, how you been? Yeah, yeah how's that? What's up, what's up, everybody? Nothing, we just had a doctor's appointment. How'd that go? It's good, wanna see our baby? Yes, <laughs> let me see. Look at the big let old head. Let me see, hey. I feel like we have like communal children okay. over here. <laughs> Here's our baby. Look to the baby. Yes, I remember these days. Right? Okay. Don't lie. I think it's a boy. <laughs> right oh, right right. Here. Happy here. One, two, three. Oh! Rai, did you see pictures of your brother or sister? Yeah. Not yet. I didn't do a party yet. 
What do you think it is? Do you think it's a boy or a girl? Yeah, it's one of the, it's gotta be one of the two. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go talk to Zach, okay? Okay. We'll see you. I do wanna talk to you, though. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. It's okay, babe. Well, how did you feel when she told you? More excited than I've ever been, you know. It's a huge step in my life. Yeah. Something I always wanted a family, so. Yeah, man. To be able to do it with her, yeah. it's a blessing. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm happy for you guys, you know. Yeah. Most importantly, I wanted to just tell you, you know, I'm thankful for the way that you were there for Ryder. Cheyenne told me, you know, yeah. just that, you know, when Shy needed that help, you stepped in, you know, no questions asked. And oh, yeah, nah. just, I appreciate you being a good figure in Ryder's life. Yeah, Cause I know, I know how happy Cheyenne is right now. Yeah. And I know, um, you know, how important the whole, like having another kid and having that family aspect is to her. Yeah. Um, and yeah, man, congratulations, bro. Welcome Thanks to fatherhood, for support, G. Bro. Thank you, man. Welcome, man. Yes, sir. Welcome. You're gonna love it. For real. Appreciate Congrats. it. Congrats. <laughs> fatherhood, man. Yes, you sir. got one of your own now. Yeah. You'll see two's a lot different than one. Cheyenne, why didn't you tell Corey that you had gotten back together with Zach initially? You know, I feel like Corey and I have now known each other for a long time. And it wasn't like it was some big conspiracy or secret from him. Corey, do you think that Cheyenne and Zach make a good couple? I think they do. They're happy together. They have that history together. They both work well together, and they're both great parents to Ryder. So, um, you know, as long as my little daughter's happy, Shy's good, I'm good. You know? Corey, how did you find out that Shy is pregnant again? Ah, ha, ha. I called it. I called it, I called it, I called it. <laughs> right before I go on the challenge, I go, Shy, I know you're going to get pregnant when I'm gone. <laughs> so it wasn't a surprise to me. You know, I was happy for her just because I could see how happy she was. I'm not going to be Debbie Downer. Um, and I just know how great of a mother she is. So I'm not going to, you know, I was just happy for her, happy for Zach. Zach's going to have his own. Um, you know, I, I just called it out. Did I not? Did I not call it out? You definitely called it out. <laughs>